I was unaware of any particular symptoms uh, and to the point where I became jaundiced. I went up to the GP, which is just down the road here, and uh, was immediately referred for um, a, a case of obstructive jaundice. They then did a series of tests and that led to the discovery of a, a mass in the head of my pancreas and uh, a month later I was being, uh, being referred to the Royal Free Hospital in London for um, surgery to, to remove a tumour. When they started the surgery there was something they could see about my pancreas that just they weren't happy with and the decision was made to remove my whole pancreas. After surgery then, because there was some evidence of spread to lymph nodes, I was uh, told that it was best that I have some chemotherapy. So I had six months of chemotherapy, which I tolerated really well. I continued working and I was feeling pretty good. I had a scan and got the results a few weeks later, which showed that um, there was a, a new tumour in my liver, two, two areas actually in my tumour, relatively small but the cancer had come back. I was then put on to uh, a course of a different chemotherapy. They did another scan and it showed that the, this chemotherapy hadn't reduced the size of the tumours at all, they'd grown slightly. Um, they referred me over to the Royal Marston from Broomfield and said, look, have a look at the trials there. They'll look at something that might be suitable to, to try something different. They had a chat with me, talked me through the sort of general principles, took some blood. I think every time you go there, you end up there's quite a lot less blood than you went with. They talked to me about what's called a PANRAF trial. Unfortunately, in the process of going through the tests, a blood test suggested I'd had a heart attack, which they were clear I hadn't. So with that not really being reliable, um, unfortunately that one came to a halt. Finally, they identified another one, which uh, I just started the first treatment. Because of the first week, this week, they took no end of different samples of me. They plucked my eyebrows every day, which is something that's never happened to me before. <laughs> so that's one of the ways to analyze the, the hair roots, because hair roots are one of the areas that the body, you know, it's the reason people lose their hair often with chemotherapy. There's a couple of important things that I think when you're going into clinical trial, you need to understand. Firstly, this isn't being offered as a treatment which will help you. It possibly could, but it is a trial to get greater understanding of new drugs and how they work. The other thing is that you might go through it and just suddenly, for whatever reason, say, I just, I just suddenly, I just don't want to do it. They make it very clear. Anytime you want to stop, that's fine. Have a good look at it and ask lots of questions. And you, you're part of the process. You, you can't just sit on the sidelines. You're totally part of that trial. But ultimately, you've just got to decide it's, it's right for you. You can't think of many downsides to going ahead with it. And you can stop at any time and it, and it doesn't matter. If you have any questions about clinical trials or pancreatic cancer, call the Pancreatic Cancer UK support line and speak to our specialist nurses on free phone 0808 801 0707 or email support at pancreaticcancer.org.uk. You can also visit our website at pancreaticcancer.org.uk forward slash clinical trials.